Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing my fourth update for my Pan That palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, uh, I may or may not have specifically lowered my chair um, just to wear this headband today, because I was feeling it. I think of it more like spooky, what, Marie Antoinette hair? I don't know. I was just kind of feeling it today. I did an extra glam look for the eyeshadow and I actually filmed this look that we're gonna get into today. But first, we have to show the progress I've done so far on this palette. Because quite literally, in the last month, I have doubled the amount of pans I have in the palette. Yes, we went from three pans to six pans. So let's go ahead and run the slideshow of all of my progress up until this point. And this is my palette now. Look at all of those new pretty, pretty pans. I uh, gotta look around this way to see it. So we hit pan in this shade right here, in this shade, and in this shade. Look, I just love the aesthetic now of that entire row of pans. How mm, satisfying is that? So pretty, I love it. So I was so, so excited to just hit this many pans. I believe the first pan that I hit was in this shade right here, um, which is what I thought I was going to be hitting. And then I hit pan in this shade right over here, which I was mainly using as a um, kind of topper for my lid, but then I started using it in my transition because I did a really nice kind of light blown out look using this shade, this shade, and then this shade as the darkest shade. And it was really, really pretty. Um, after that, I hit pan in this shade, and the way that I was actually able to hit pan here was by doing a really dark, smoky look like what I'm wearing right now. I really got, like, so comfortable with, like, dark, warm, smoky looks, and I was really utilizing um, this shade, the light kind of warm shade, as a transition. Um, these deeper shades, depending on the look, as the kind of crease and out deepening the outer V, and then using one of these two shades. I really, really liked how this one looks because it has a really deep red undertone to it. So this just looked really pretty paired with this shade and this shade. And so I was doing like really, really smoky looks. And I was actually comfortable enough that I was doing smoky looks like that on work days. So I was doing them more often. And I just by doing looks like that, I hit pan in that shade right there. I did expand the pan in the shades that I already had pan in. I specifically really like using the gold because even like a look like this, I could use gold all over the lid instead of using this shade all over the lid, which is what I did today. Um, so I've been using the gold, I've been using the purple a little bit. I've been doing a couple of looks with these purples down here, but really I've been kind of sticking towards um, the mattes in general. I've been trying to use the mattes a little bit more often. The mattes and then specifically like these warm tones because they just make such a really pretty smoky eye. So let's go ahead and jump into how I got this look today.
So that's the look. That's been kind of my go-to. <laughs> I'll say it's my go-to minus the lashes and the yellow accents. I kind of just did the yellow liner and the yellow highlighter as an inner corner highlight for the first time today. And I just really think the yellow plays off the, like the oranges and the reds just really, really nicely. So I like it. I am just so proud of myself and happy with this progress. Um, I think I've been doing just so much better without setting goals, you know? So I'm not gonna set a goal for this next month. Um, I'm just really happy with this whole row of just pan. It's just so pretty. The only thing that I think I'm gonna continue doing, cause I really only started doing it like, uh, a lot or focusing on it the last month is focusing on the mats. I've been using the mats in at least like at least once in every look that I've been doing. Um, and more and more often I've been doing matte only looks. So maybe for the next update, I will film a matte only look. Um, and then I will film a couple of other looks, especially like that light kind of blown out look that I like doing. I'll film that for the next update and probably like a purpley kind of look using the shades on the bottom. Other than that, um, I have been using this deepest shade in my eyebrows every day, but you really can't tell. And I got like just like a barely a little bit of a dip in that one. So I don't know if that's going to go anywhere anytime soon. But I also like using that as a, a deepening shadow. It is a shimmer uh, a little bit, but I do like it to deepen shadow or shadow looks that I do with specifically the matte. So I'll do a look with like these two and then this to deepen it up or this one, this one, and then this to deepen it up. Yeah, so that's everything for this super exciting update where we literally doubled the amount of pans in the palette. I honestly did not expect that. I went back like right before I filmed this and watched my last palette update and I was like, wow, I have so much more pan this time around and I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you are panning a palette in 2021, what your palette is, how your palette pan is going, or if you have the Lila palette, if you're reaching for it more often, if you're intrigued by the looks that I've done, if you're inspired to pick it back up again, let me know down below and also on my Instagram. Instagram. This is my Instagram page. Uh, when I hit pan um, in each one of these, I update in real time on my Instagram. I post photos and I'm also on stories practically every day. I also post daily looks um, using this palette and then using any other palettes I happen to have. So if you're interested in keeping up in real time, because I do pre-film these just a slight bit, um, make sure you follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. I love this look. I don't know, it's just the headband and the, the, the makeup. I'm just feeling it.